What's good people, it's Jay Cactus back again with another tutorial and in this video I'm going to be making a melodic guitar drill beat. So it's a little bit different to my usual videos, I've been making a lot of dark UK melodies and pop smoke melodies recently. But that is because I'm dropping a pop smoke melody kit hopefully this Friday. So there's around about 20 melodies, or more than that in fact, but I've also included the stems to them as well. So if you want to restructure them, rearrange them, then you can do. So they're all like pop smoke or drill type melodies. Um, hopefully that's getting released on Friday, so stay tuned. But I also need to announce the winner from last week's competition. And I just used a random name generator from my Instagram comments. And the name that it picked is nana.sarfo1. I'll put the name up here so you can see. But message me on Instagram and I'll give you the code to get my drum kit 100% free. But let's get into it. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna start with one of my loops, which is in my free pack, Misty Nights. So I'm using the one called Lose My Mind. I was just playing around with the sample and then I thought I might as well make a tutorial whilst I'm doing it, because I'm gonna turn this guitar sample into a drill beat. So I'm just starting off with the chords. I'm just gonna have that looping for a bit. gonna add my drums in here and then using the chop snare from my pack so in my pack I sound designed like most of the sounds it was like one or two classic sounds I just wanted to put in just because I feel like you should have them And then for the hats, I'm going to use one from my expansion pack that I'm working on. It's going to be more kicks, 808s, all that good stuff. Perfect. So it's quite bouncy. Then for the open hat. Something like that. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna add the 808 in the kick, but I am gonna add more instruments by the way. I'm just gonna get the drums out of the way first whilst I've got the guitar playing and then I'll add some counter melodies. Let's start on E. I want it like that, like some slides over here. Then maybe more slides here. Cut this. Right, I've just skipped the eight weight parks. I spent some time on this just to get it right. Not too different. I just kept on changing my mind, but I'm happy with this. And then for the kick, I like to record them in first. And then I've just changed the ending ones. Arcade, I found this sample, but I've pitched it up an octave. So I'm going to chop something up like that. 
Now we've got this. So this could be one section in the verse. But I definitely need another count of melody. And I wanted to use these keys in Sakura. So I came up with this. Again, I'll probably just have them keys in like one place, maybe the hook or a bridge or something. Right, so for the main chords, I'm thinking I want to pitch it down a full octave for the verse and then maybe bring it back up for the hook. And then this last count melody that you can see here, this is just another stem in the loop. It's in my Misty Nights loop kit. So when I release that pack, I included all of the stems to each loop just in case you wanted to, you know, rearrange it, like structure it differently to how I did. So I'm also doing that for the loop kit that I'm hopefully dropping this week. It's gonna be a pop smoke type melody kit. I haven't given it a name yet, but I'm hopefully dropping it this week. All the melodies are ready. I think I just wanna add like one more maybe. Um, so yeah, I'll try to release that on maybe Friday. But now that I've got everything that I need, I'm gonna mix it all and arrange it. And then I'll see what I can come up with. I might add one or two more things. All right, so as you can see, everything's arranged. I've mixed everything and I did add a couple more things, so I'm gonna talk you through it all. So for the intro, I've reversed the chords. And then this part here, this is just a reverse stem in the same loop. It's like a flute that I've reversed. And then I found this other sound in Arcade. Quite a weird sound. I'll show you the preset. I think it's this one. Now, call me was the vocals, and then there should be another arcade. Here we go. So, deranged illusions. It was just in that. It was just one note that I held. And then, if anyone wanted to use the same keys, um, it was just a foggy grand piano in Sakura. Right. So it starts off like this. goes the normal way around. So now it's slowly building up. Mine I wanted to start on the first. Vocals. So this beat is real simple, but I think it's sick, man. Let me know what you think in the comments. Keys come back in. So this is a good little thing to do. So if you know that in the hook, you've got a lot of different instruments, try to introduce them instruments somewhere in the verse, but only subtly, don't play the full thing through. So just play like maybe half of the pattern that you've got or just a little section like I've done here. It just introduces people to the sound again. I did a crash here. And then this is where the hook comes in. So everything drops out. that the strings or the guitar strings yeah are still down but they come back up here and then it kind of repeats and it fades 
this out at the end. So just to talk you through some mixing for the strings. I tried different stuff, but in the end I just added the EQ to take out some lows. Um, there were some more strings that I didn't actually use in the end. For the piano, I just added some reverb, some EQ, just to kind of filter it a little bit. I just like the sound that I created. And then when I'm using Effectrix, this is just a tape stop, the vinyl stop. So you can use it in gross beat. But if you want it to link to a few different things, what you need to do is create a bus. So you can see I've got an instrument bus and then I've got the guitar strings linked to it and then the piano as well. So what you do is you'd say if I was linking it here, you'd right click and then root to this track only. And then same for any other instruments. So then once you've got this bus, all the instruments are linked to this one bus. And then when you put a vinyl stop or like gross beat or something, it will affect all of those instruments. I didn't want to put it on the master because if I did it on the master, then when you heard my tag come in, the tag would have docked down with the vinyl as well. So this is just a way to do it if you only want the instruments to be affected. All the drums, like whatever sounds you want, just link them to a boss and then apply the effect to that boss. Right? So, for the kick, I just took out some sub from the kick, some highs. You don't need to do that. It just sounded a bit cleaner in this track. Again, some real sub frequencies in the 808. Um, again, you don't need to do that. Not much in the high, well, nothing in the high hat, it's all the snare. Uh, again, the flute is linked to the instrument bus. Turk just had some delay on it. Nothing on the vocals, because all the sounds in arcade are usually mixed anyway, so you don't need to do a lot to them. So this is quite a simple beat, but... I've been trying to keep my beats simple recently because rappers always want the most simple beats because they need space for the vocals and a lot of people forget that. So as I said, it was just a simple beat today, but sometimes simple beats are the best. So I didn't want to overcomplicate it today, but hopefully you took some gems from it. Hope you liked the beat and I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please like it here and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you.